are some of the differences between entrepreneurship in Europe and in the United States or in <laughs> France specifically in the United States? <laughs> nice question, Linda. So if I answer, there are not a lot of differences. Okay. This might be surprising for the US. I don't know. It probably <laughs> is. <laughs> No, honestly, what we can see it again, there's not so much, there are not so much differences. What I, we can see is that Europe was a little bit behind the US, honestly, on this part. And we can see a growing ecosystem and growing support. The government has been very supportive, especially the French government in the last years. So we can see more and more investment, more and more funding opportunities, more and more support from the government, Wonderful. more and more students, as I mentioned, looking for entrepreneurship. So I would say that we are catching up <laughs> in Europe and the way to do the business is almost the same. There's a little difference because you're not in one place. We don't have one Silicon Valley, actually. Right. I think right. we have like innovation hubs all over Europe. There are some of them we can see that the value creation is very important. London is still a very important place yeah. for value creation. Paris is obviously the other one in Europe. And the third one, which is Munich in Germany. So what is different in, in Europe is an entrepreneur in Europe is not working in one place. He probably will work in London, work in Munich, work in Paris, which is actually nice, uh, but not in one place. And so you have those ecosystems like mini Silicon Valleys. You have education, you have the corporates, you have finance, and you have the startup projects, but in different places in Europe. And I was saying it's also like multilingual. To, yeah, uh, but English is actually the most important uh, mm -hmm. language. So you work in English all over Europe. So this is... Uh, not an issue anymore. It's still nice if you speak some French and if you're aperitif in the evening, that's mm -hmm. nice. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, uh, business English. If you don't mind, I would like to mention Asia. Sure. If we talk okay. about the US and Europe, that's perfect. But I think we also need to keep an eye on what's happening in Asia, even though it's more difficult and China is a little bit more difficult to access at the moment. But there are a lot of things happening on innovation and entrepreneurship in Asia, and especially also in China. So I think all together, we should have an eye, keep an eye on it. Uh, there are things going on in Shenzhen, Greater Bay Area. So yeah, let's look Certainly. also, uh, let's have a look on innovation entrepreneurship in China. And uh, we shouldn't underestimate the innovation entrepreneurship they have in place and they are supporting and heavily supporting within in Asia Pacific. So there right. might be Silicon Valley West, Silicon Valley East, and the European, whatever, multiple Silicon Valley. Uh, right. those, so I think a lot of innovation is going on all over the world. And Africa is also starting a little bit to, uh, to conclude on this. There are some hubs in Northern Africa and also Western Africa, South Africa. There are some yeah. special places where innovation entrepreneurship uh, start to grow. So... Overall, I think the the, the global um, global place is a very innovative place. <laughs>